Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective haul. Um, so I've got a few things that I've kind of collected over the past month-ish. Including something from Killstar, some spooky box club items and literally today some Wittard items and also something from Primark. So I'll go through the Killstar one first. Um, as always they come in the black bag that says Killstar. Um, I saw they were having a New Year sale I think um, and I really like the McGoth collection. I'm literally wearing it today. Um, I really like that print and that one always seems to be in the sale and it never really seems to go. I'm not sure if other people don't like it or whether they had loads of it. But um, I've got the like the long sleeve version and then the short sleeve version. Then I saw they had a dress and it was £10 which I thought was really good for a Killstar dress and it's a knitted one so it's a good quality. I've had a few of their knitted things before and they are really good um so yeah this is a knitted dress and then it went it had 30 percent off extra on clearance which made it like 6.99 so it's kind of like i got it for the full price with free delivery if that makes sense so it came in this clear bag it says kill star on it uh, it's called the mcgoth batwing knit dress um and i got it in a size small as usual I will include a clip of me like trying it on as well. So this is what it looks like. It's very similar to this but just jumper material and a bit longer. Um, something I didn't notice is it is kind of a v-neck-ish. I mean it's not too noticeable when you're wearing it. It doesn't actually go down that low. It's more like just down to here. Um, so yeah. I don't really mind that too much and label um has a death head moth on it and it just says may the bridges i burn like the way this is one of their really really old styles so it the older ones do have the moth and then the more recent ones have snakes i think it's got the mcdonald's bat kind of thing in white and then it just says McGoth Killstar and then it kind of goes in at the end. And this is kind of one of those um, ribbed materials. I'm not sure how well that's showing. So it's quite stretchy. So it does go down kind of in a figure hugging thing at the bottom of it. That makes sense. Um, but the top is like a jumper. It's kind of just like wearing a jumper with leggings but this you could get away with wearing tights because it is quite long these sleeves i didn't actually realize how big this was because of the bat wing feature um the sleeves as well have this ribbed effect at the end but this does go on for like from there to there so what i did is i just kind of folded this in so it's more like that because otherwise it kind of has a weird shape. You'll see it more on the clip when I try it on. So yeah, this kind of is huge. <laughs> so that would kind of hang there, but it, it doesn't look unflattering at all. It's just, it just feels really cozy, basically. I feel like this is really good if you're feeling quite tired in the morning, but you have to get up early and you want to wear a blanket so you pick this because it's so cozy and then you can just wear like tights or leggings with boots or whatever but yeah this is kind of like one of those blanket outfits and um, so yeah that's the first one as always killstar shipping is good i don't really have a problem apparently some people have been saying about their customer service but i've never had an issue with that so far so yeah that's the first one I 
I'll move on to the next clothing item and I was so happy to find this. I showed in my last Primark haul, or it could be the one before that if I upload one in between, that I got these velvet dresses and they were kind of in a Victorian kind of style, so like high neck, puffy sleeves, um, which I thought was a bit different for Primark and they came out with a kind of emerald dark green version and a purple version and I managed to pick up both not sure if I should have got the purple one because I haven't really worn it to be honest but the green one I've worn a lot and I wore it on Christmas and I really like the colour of it but I always said when I saw that style I was like if they do this in black that would be amazing but I didn't expect them to and then I went to back into Primark and I saw a black version and I was like oh my gosh I need that but they only had like sizes 14 18 and that was it and this was like the first time I'd ever seen it. And every time I kept going back, they didn't have it. So I was like, great. It's like my dream dress and I can't find it. And then what's worse, they went into the sale for five pounds, but I wasn't gonna get a size that it's not gonna fit me because there's no point. But then I went to a different Primark and then they had these in a size 10, which was perfect. And I've already worn this once and I've done an outfit of the day, which should be up soon on this channel. But yeah. This is just gorgeous and it was only five pounds. Five pounds for a velvet dress. I just think that's so good. Um, I did take the tags off of it because I have worn it, but I got it in a size 10 and it was reduced from 13 pounds to five, which is amazing. It has, it's exactly the same as the other one, but it's got a high neck feature with these ruffles on with this kind of cinched in effect here which make the sleeves go like that and it looks really pretty I really love this and then it goes in at the waist and then just comes down into like a it just kind of goes down basically and it does come above the knee on me um like just above it I'm quite short so but yeah I was so happy that I was able to find this I feel like these dresses are nice for spring as well because you could wear like a cardigan over them. I always like to wear velvet more in winter, which is a bit of a pain, <laughs> but I think this would be nice for like February, March, because I remember last year in March it snowed, so hopefully it shouldn't warm up until like June, <laughs> July, or never. So that's the second one, and that was from Primark. <laughs> ones from Wittard which I got today um I just went in because I was on my way to the post office and then I saw that they did my favorite tea with 50% off so this is the pumpkin spice tea um from Wittard and actually the one near me closed down so I have to go to a different one now which is a bit of a pain but it was originally eight pounds and then it's reduced to four pounds. Um, I never paid eight pounds for it. I think one time I got it as like a gift. Then my second bag I bought, I used my student discount. And then this time I got it for four pounds. So this is my third bag. No shame. So yeah, this one I find is really nice. I don't really like normal tea. I drink green tea, which is quite nice but I usually end up putting honey in it um but this pumpkin spice tea is amazing it's got um I don't know how you say the name of it oolong um where is it that word there is it oolong um with cinnamon ginger caramel and pumpkin and it does have pumpkin seeds in it and it just this in a pumpkin mug is perfection so yeah i got some more of this i nearly actually bought the silent night one because i tried both of them while i was there and i i did like the silent night one but then i just realized that it did kind of just taste like green tea with something added and i thought i'd regret it if i didn't pick up this one so i picked up this and the second item i got from wittard was a mug i really shouldn't be buying any more mugs because i do not have the room there is no more room in the cupboard i filled up two boxes of mugs for when I like move out and now I have another one 
I couldn't resist this one. Um, I've been getting back into Alice in Wonderland lately, um, and Wittard do like the best like mugs or teacups or whatever. Um, they also have a teapot, which is really cool. Um, and they had this, and it was in the sale, so I justify it. It was originally twelve, and it was reduced to six on this sticker here. Which I thought was a really good deal. Um, and then it's got the white rabbit in this kind of watercolour effect. Which I really liked. And I love the colour purple. So, And then on the back it has a clock. And it says tick tock tick tock. Underneath it just says the white rabbit. And that it's made in England. And inside it says time for another. So cool. <laughs> and it's got a clock there. I picked up the pumpkin tea. And then I was like could have the mug i mean i know i'm not gonna have this in the mug but this is my brain trying to be like yeah you, you can have another mug kirsty i didn't need another mug so yeah that's the second one i'm really happy with it i like how it's like a different style it's not like the normal mug and the handle is really cool as well so yeah i do really like this and my pumpkin tea the next few items and the last ones are from spooky box this one i have used i've only used a page of it so when they came out with the dark agenda box i was kicking myself um i love stationery i love stationery so i've been looking for a desk planner that's kind of has a spooky theme for quite a while i usually use like a boring literally it's white and it's got a grid on it and it says monday tuesday and then the rest of the days and that's it it's just black and white with some like pink days on it and that's it and then in that box was this this is everything that i've been searching for for ages so i managed to find it on depop um i think there are still two or maybe no i bought it off of ebay there are two on depop at the moment so if you are after this there are two selling on there kind of tempted to go and buy another one so i have a backup because i'm i mean there's loads of pages but i'm still like i don't want to use it in case in case i run out of it i can't i can't the design of it is so pretty it has the days of the week um apart from like the weekend because it just says weekend instead of saturday and sunday it's got a to-do list which is so cute and then it's got a notes page and then across the bottom it says spooky box club there and then some gravestones with two skulls either side and then it's got some white ghosts with different faces some purple clouds a moon and some bats and it is kind of all purple apart from the like white boxes here and it does have quite a few pages and it is a rip off one so you can like fill it in and then put it on your desk you could put magnets on it and attach it to a board if you wanted to but i'm just gonna have it as a desk planner so that's the first thing the second thing is in this bag i did order this from depop um i'm just gonna show you the washi tape that's on it because this is really cool so i will just open that now okay so I kind of opened it, it was wrapped up as well, so this is the card that they put in um, called Mystical Dreamer. I bought the pencil case and the pencils. The pencil case because I don't actually have a mini pencil case that I can just put in my bag. I have somehow all my pencils just in my bag randomly, which is horrible for an organiser like me. But yeah, so I ordered those everything's wrapped up really cutely like in bright pink tissue paper with ghost washi tape on and i think these are the pencils so these are the pencils that came in the dark agenda box i did mainly get these because i was getting the pencil case at the same time and i thought the sayings on these were really cute I watched the Haunted Bats video of the unboxing and she was saying how on the last pencils we got said things like revenge, love, letters or something like that. She said that they weren't to her taste and that was the same in mine. So this one says witch please if I can find it. Kind of in a gold engraved thing. Uh, this one says creep it real. And the last one says, if you've got it, haunt it. 
So yeah, they all have lids. It's a bit different. So that's these ones. She also put in this bone rubber razor, whatever you call them, which is cute. So that was nice of her to include that. Um, and in here is the pencil case. This is the pencil case. I'll take it out of this plastic packaging. So this is what it looks like. This is perfect. So it's quite a small pencil case, um, so it won't take up much room in my bag and it just carries what I really need. The zip is just plain black and then it's purple with some bats on. It says Spooky Box Club on the label. And then inside it's just got this kind of fabric-y thing so you can clean it if you get ink on it or something. So yeah, this is perfect. Um, again, still kicking myself I didn't get the box because I just could have got it all in one with some like extra things. But I am really happy that I got the main things that I wanted now, which were the desk pad, this and the pencils. This also matches really well with the book holder. Um, it was like a book cover that you could use for either books or an iPad or a Kindle or whatever. I feel like this matches well with this and then you could have the book cover as well. And she's also included an extra thing as well as the bone thing. And this is a 2019 calendar. I do have the 2018 one on my door so I'll swap it out. Uh, it says January, February rest of the month uh, it's dark purple on both sides and then the writing and numbers are in white and then the background just has spider webs and bats and then it says 2019 i believe it's the same on the other side yeah so this is really nice as well so that's everything in this haul let me know if there's any video requests you might have i've had a comment about maybe doing a makeup video which I'm trying to work out how I do. Um, but if you have any video requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you liked in this haul. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.